Hello, you're listening to the OmniTalk Fast Five, brought to you in partnership with Microsoft, the A&M Consumer and Retail Group, Takeoff, Sezzle, and Silk. All right, so headline number five, Chris, according to CNBC, workers at the Starbucks and Amazon Go store, so just that Amazon Go Starbucks combo store in Midtown Manhattan, filed a petition for a union election on Friday. The store, which is located next to Port Authority and on the ground floor of the New York Times building, generates high volume, but also has very high employee turnover, according to Starbucks Workers United. In addition to traditional barista tasks, the Starbucks employees also have to help customers navigate the Amazon Go technology without any additional pay, the union said. And some workers told the union that they were involuntarily transferred to the store as the company scrambled for baristas to staff the location. So, Chris, uh, we've been to one of these Amazon Go Starbucks hybrid stores in New York. Um, What are your thoughts about this move? Yeah, I think this is a really fascinating story. Uh, There's a couple angles to this, too. Yeah, I love this. I love that we're closing the show with this, too. I think one, of course, is the story about the unions. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't realize this, too, but did you know that... Over 250 Starbucks stores at this point have voted in favor of unionization, according to the CNBC article where you just read this headline from. That's insane to me. Yeah. Like, it doesn't seem like it's been that many. And that's happened fast. So that means a lot of them are happening under the radar screen now. Yeah. I mean, even we feel like in the news, it's been a couple per week or something you hear about. But yeah, yeah, but that that, I hope everyone's listening. That's a big number, Mm -hmm. like much bigger than I thought. And we follow this pretty closely. But the other important point to me, which getting away from the labor unions on this, it, which I think is interesting, is we saw this store in New York last last NRF. We mm-hmm. went to check it out. And, you know, our takeaway was that the store could have been so much cooler that, generally speaking, yeah. it la- lacked imagination. It looked like the two concepts were just pushed together, the Starbucks pickup-only concept with an Amazon Ghost store. Yeah. And, it's, and I think it's important because it speaks to the continuing difficulties that I think Amazon particularly – is going to have in creating exciting retail in which humans are asked to do more than just pull boxes off shelf or right. deliver packages to doorsteps. Mm-hmm. And the other point I'd make is if this vote goes through, the thing that makes me really sad about it yeah. is that this concept had so much promise mm-hmm. ultimately. And if it goes through, I think this concept is probably dead yeah. going forward. And so that's just, it speaks to me that Amazon, I hope if you're listening, You've got to focus on the human design elements of your staff yeah. and how they serve as customers in a way that's much more, much different probably than you've ever had to before. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I, I can't say I'm surprised to hear that, to see this happening. Um, this was a big miss on Starbucks and Amazon's yeah. behalf. Like. Sometimes you you don't you don't understand the impact this is going to have until you test these things. Right. But Amazon has so many just walk out technology stores like you know that whether it's Amazon, whether it's Trigo, Grabango, Zippin, we saw in the in Dallas Fort Worth last week, but there's still some friction on the entrance to yeah, these stores. Right. Like you still have to staff and explain right. to people and you will probably for, uh, for you know the, the why a while yeah. now until people are comfortable doing this. So the fact that they didn't like put that into the training or assessment of, you know, where they're going to apply resources in terms of staffing really surprises me. Um, I think that what we're going to also see as a result of this, which I'm not terribly upset about is the continued automation on the Starbucks side of things. If they do like if, if, if Amazon and Starbucks can figure out how to make this keep going, it's like, again, how do you figure out how to continue automation on coffee prep and making, and then, apply resources to the handoff experience that we've seen so well executed in the pickup only stores for Starbucks and then that that journey making or like creating for the people yeah. that are coming inside the Amazon Go store because the concept is smart it's just how it's being executed yeah right and yeah I mean you're, you're a great point too like it, all roads lead down the same path which is probably less employees in the store over the long run and more automated tasks decide regardless of whether these these experiences are combined or not, yeah. whether you look at Starbucks, whether you look at Amazon, or you look at some new iteration of a coffee shop and a just walk out experience over time, that's going to happen. Right, right. 